You don't see photo albums like this anymore. <laughs> if a picture's worth a thousand words, there's a million words in this box. I got photo albums with all her relatives, great, great, great grandparents. Derek Palastro bought this home just two weeks ago. What he didn't know was there was a lifetime of memories waiting for him in the closet. It was just sitting right here. Once he picked yeah. up these photos, he couldn't put them down. He spent most of his time digging into the history and memories of a woman who now feels like a friend. That's Hazel right there. Yes, that's Hazel Wah, and she lived to be 103 years old in this house on the north side of Syracuse. This is a photo from her 100th birthday party. As Derek kept digging, he found Hazel died in 2010. Her husband died 20 years earlier. This house hasn't changed much, but has gone through a few different owners. So Derek is trying to figure out if any of Hazel's family is still around. I, I just don't have the heart to throw it out. I'd love to find a relative or at least somebody that was close to her that would cherish this, cherish this. These photos tell a story of a woman who loved her family and who loved to hang on to any and all keepsakes. This picture is on the campus of the University of Southern California 80 years ago. This one from 1938. Dozens of birthday cards, obituaries, and newspaper clippings make this box Article. feel bottomless. Here's the post standard from February 7th, 1938. Without someone to share with him who these people are, Derek is left to determine that for himself. Very Hazel's story is worth sharing, and one Derek can't put down. Record. The pictures and the words just keep coming. I mean, I got pictures of her in Florida. She spent some time down in Florida. In Syracuse, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. A bottomless box of history dating back nearly 100 years. Hazel Wall went to great lengths to keep this legacy intact. This has a story. This was the best. Sunday, after weeks of waiting, Derek Palastro, who inherited these on accident, was able to pass on Wall's collection to Larry, Cindy, and Mary Church, distant relatives from Auburn. Larry, do you recognize any of the people? The more photos Palastro pulled, the more pieces fell into place. Larry is a distant relative, but this collection helped close the gap in their family tree. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Charlie. Yeah. Leonard. Howard. Bob. Yeah, see, oh, there yeah. they all are. Great. Mm -hmm. That's his grandchildren. It's got Howard. Yep, there's Howard. Yep. This one woman's work took a lifetime to collect, and even after her passing, three different owners of this home didn't have the heart to throw out these heirlooms. Photo by photo, you feel the love Hazel Wah had for her family and friends. She was loved by everybody. The neighborhood loved her. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, the people across the street have been here since the 50s, and they said she was the sweetest, kindest-hearted woman that uh, everybody loved her. So for the first time in a decade, this collection leaves this home for a new one, and plenty of new eyes to see the history for themselves. Obviously, I'd like to share them with the rest of my family and my, my children, and and pass them on to them someday. The legacy of a loving woman who couldn't part with a keepsake lives on. In Syracuse, Josh Martin, News Channel 9.